Yes. Hello, New Zealand. I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. Well, the storm is today crossing the South Island, and we've got a lot of rough weather. So let's get into it. Here's the latest animated wind map. Look at this deep, stormy system coming through. It's likely to make landfall somewhere around the Haast Milford Sound area uh, across the middle of the day. Then it tracks over the South Island, comes out the other side during Thursday afternoon, and blows in this big, strong south to southeast wind. So at the moment, the nor'westers, at least while I was recording this video we're blowing down across the country the worst of it's still out at sea and then it crosses over the country during Thursday itself so this is the rainfall map that we've got there are two different parts to this system we've got the the main low itself crossing over the South Island and then leftovers pulled down by the tropical northerlies will produce some heavy downpours for the North Island overnight Thursday and into Friday morning. But for Thursday itself, this is the heaviest of the rain. And when you look at the chart, it takes you right up to a 300 millimeter mark. So it could be anywhere around that plus or minus another 50 millimeters. And some of that spills over. Now, some of the blue you're seeing there around that 200, 150 millimeter mark in areas that you don't normally see it. So that's the reason why there's a lot of concern about potential flooding in some spots. But I must also point out, some of that will be just up in the mountains and hills further and lower down uh, you might be getting down towards the 70 80 millimeter but either way that's still a lot but there's a fine line see that area there you're getting up towards canterbury only 10 millimeters potentially for some areas so a very fine line between heavy and dry that's because as the center of the low comes through the rain's on the southern half of it the wind is more on the northern half and then later in the day uh, the wind switches to the south as well but that rain still remains there this is the front that comes through at night time some very heavy falls will pop up uh, either thursday pm or very early friday am here's the satellite map i just wanted to quickly show you this this is around uh, just after sunrise this morning and the sun's obviously coming up from the east and look at these big big clouds that are building that's that northerly feed you can see the shadows on the sides of those big cumulus clouds and the low here spinning around you can almost see the center to it there a bit of an um, it's not an eye but it is the center of it and that's the area that's coming through to make the landfall all right a lot of moving parts to this so i'll try and keep it simple this is the uh, three o'clock thursday uh, air pressure map and you can see here this is the center of the low but it's also spreading out to the east it's changing shape and that spreads the energy all out makes it a lot more complicated to forecast because when they're in the tropics they have that perfect circular shape to them and it has a warm core to it when they come down here and they become an extra tropical cyclone it changes the middle becomes cold and it all stretches out that's what's happening here a secondary area of low pressure is forming but this is the main part of it clearing away and those big strong winds pushing that heavy rain into places like Dunedin, coastal Otago, and around uh, Southland. Also pouring with rain on the western side, and the wind's very, very strong. Um, the isobars are all over the place because they get pushed and squeezed up through the different ranges. And in the North Island, there's that other area of rain starting to build into the afternoon. Midnight tonight, that area of rain in the north getting heavier matches up with those rain maps, the, the, the accumulation I just showed you. Uh, very heavy downpours potentially from about Waikato, uh, maybe the Hauraki Gulf, Coromandel, over towards Bay of Plenty. Some of those could drop a bit further south too. But the main storm is now pretty much off the map, right down here in the Southern Ocean. There's the leftover area of low pressure that's just going to keep the rain uh, continuing along the West Coast, but it will start to ease, and it also should start to ease around Southland and Otago. So it's a burst of wind and rain, and then it should start to finally fall apart. Lunchtime Friday now. That big area of tropical rain moving to the east very, very slowly, and a southwest change behind it. That means finally Aucklanders and Everybody else in the upper North Island, the humidity starts to take a break. It won't be so muggy. In the south, you've still got that area of rain or showers. It is moving northwards, much, much cooler. There's going to be some snow on the ranges overnight tonight. That gives you an idea. In fact, it's going to be below zero on the ski fields around Queenstown. Lunchtime Saturday, look at the little showers everywhere. Uh, the, the wind flow around the country is from the southerly quarter. So it's southwest and southeasterlies and southerlies. There's that small area of low pressure lingering around Auckland. It could provide a few showers uh, there. It might even um, move through and make for some gloomy weather. But for other areas, it, it could clear up. So it's a fine line for those northerners. A little bit of rain coming through here on a cold front you finally get that colder change coming up to Hawke's Bay and Gisborne. And then Sunday sees high pressure out to the east. 
Uh, a bit of rain or shower activity in the north and the east there as well. A little bit on the west. It's just a messy sort of forecast. Plenty of dry areas, but for some people who have that wet weather, it may not be moving through very fast. There isn't really a lot of wind. So there we go. There is a lot going on. Please keep up to date with your uh, tax-funded weather warnings at Met Service and obviously Weather Watch with our ongoing coverage. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you again tomorrow with the latest. <laughs>